Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rim Park and the Ontario Volleyball Association Champ Provincial Championships. Today we're bringing you the 18U Girls Division I Tier 1 Final between Eclipse from Scarborough and Leaside out of Toronto. I, my name is Paul Pavin, and calling this match with me is my friend Russ Will Ocean. Thank you, Paul. Um, we're looking at two very complete teams here, uh, probably the top two teams each with a couple of outstanding players uh, for Eclipse. Uh, look at number 18, Jane Kennedy, and, num and their all-star, number 11, uh, Abby Ganshorn, and for uh, Lee's side, uh, number eight in the middle, Alexandra Paletto, outstanding player, and number 12, another all-star, Asia G Ganji. Serving Ca Cadence Kennedy for Eclipse. They get a free ball. There's number 14, um, Veltram for uh, Eclipse. Nice ball, she just uh, turned too much and pounded it out of bounds. And the first, oh, first point of the match actually goes to Eclipse. Looks like there was a call there. I think it was a night violation Net on violation. Uh, Lee side. So, uh, so going back to serve number five is Can uh, Candence Curry for Eclipse. Tia Miracle, this is a back set for Paletto. Great, great ball. This Alexandra Paletto, Russ, is a, a very imposing middle. Actually, I, I watched her play earlier in the tournament and today, and I really like the presence she puts up there. She's heading to Colorado State next year. So Heather Sigurdsson, uh, right for uh, Lee side serving. Long, and already it's, it's a 2-1 lead for, for Eclipse. Couple of mistakes for Lee side, a, lo a long serve and a net foul. Going back to serve now for is number four uh, for uh, Eclipse is number fourteen, Kelsey Veldrum. <laughs> Type ball and she tried to do something with it. We saw her during the tournament, Paul, haven't we? That she's tried a little, a few of these tips, haven't been very successful. No. Um, mm. What they're doing is interesting to see if that becomes a pattern. They're trying to serve short and bring in the attackers that time um uh paletto didn't take the ball and which freed her up to just go up and attack she's back to serve right now and in the front row we have um the setter tia mirick she's only 17 but already an outstanding setter well i think paletta's coming up for the libero <laughs> now there seems to be a little bit of defensive confusion there. Yeah. Um, it was clearly Paletto's ball, but she just hesitated to go, and I think she knows, but she'll settle down. She's a great player, and she'll settle down. Number 18, um, Jaden Kennedy, an outstanding player for Eclipse, served that long. You can see the jitters already with both teams. Uh, a couple of net fouls, some long serves. They're having some troubles right now. Whoops. And number one, that's another un uncharacteristic serve reception error by Christina Alabastro. She's known her for outstanding all-round play. They're just nervous right now, I think. I think so. Basically, you know, I'm surprised Eclipse is nervous. They have been, this is their, for this group of kids, their fourth provincial final in the last five years. And they've won four of those. So, or three of those previously. It's an outstanding rally right now. They're doing some great transition attacks. Outside ball now. Off to Majagowski. She's only 17 years old, but already an all-star uh, at, at the 18 under level. Nicely pounded. I thought that was a really nice set by Tia, Tia yeah. Mirick. Yeah. Uh, she kept it nice and low, but pushed it out to the antenna, didn't let it die. Both teams are, are, are playing some very good transition ball. It really sets them apart. There's referee calls a backcourt attack. Uh, the call, they're calling the setter. That's that's um, oh. Coach Arifna Thu from uh, Eclipse is a not a happy camper on that call. That's an interesting call here because he she's saying that the setter played the ball above the net, but I think the setter's in the front court. I think she is too. 15. And they've just called a reserve, Russ. Yeah. Domingo, that is. She looks like she's in the back row because she's lining up behind the next player, but she's definitely front row player. That's a, that's just a out. 
That's a shot that Alabastro has done really well on today that from watching them play. She cut it sharply because she's not the tallest player and it was just out of bounds. So number three serving, TM Mirror. The setter from Lee side. Nice tough serve there. Here comes a free ball, see what they do with it. Here comes a step around, no. Back set to 12. Outside the antenna, wow. She must have one heck of a... They're of a, of calling a, that outside the antenna. The, there's no indication from the lines person that but, that ball was outside the antenna now. But there's some trigonometry involved here, Paul. She hit the ball straight, she was inside the court, and it landed in the court. I, th I didn't see a curveball. I think they've made an error, Russ, but I don't think they're going to reverse well, this who one. who called it? The umpire? They should be asking the lines person, yeah. and they're not. This is... This, already a couple of strange calls by these officials. Maybe they're nervous too. I wonder why they're not asking the umpire, I guess, or the lines person. I guess they don't care, but oh well. Off we go. Another back set. Oh, wow. That, now that was an outstanding set. That was a great set. We have 7-5 Lee side in the lead right now. And there's number 16, Gabriela Mechigorski. Gowski, the 17-year-old all-star. She's already had two wonderful kills. Oh, that was trouble. Backcourt attack there from number 18, Jaden Kennedy. Free ball coming now. The step around. They'll this is great volleyball right now. They're w working hard, and there's a wonderful cut by number five. Uh, uh, Cadence Curry. Curry, that's right, for, for Eclipse. I'm getting them mixed up. But that was um, a great transition volleyball right there because they're attacking hard on other system balls. So number 11 is serving, Abby Ganshorn. Oh. Stepped on the line. That's not a good error. The server stepped on the line, which you can't do in this game. At this level, you know, that's not, that's not what we'd call a real good error. Jill Eisenhower on her way to McMaster next year. Oh, wonderful swing. Jill makes a great dig and a wonderful play by number nine, Heather Sigerson. Great cut. Wow. Russ, we Some noticed before in the last yeah. match when we saw um, Eclipse playing uh, uh, Lakeside, they used that three-quarter speed sharp cross court yeah. routinely, and it kept landing. They're doing it again. Um, they they seem to find that sideline. Asia, Asia, give him uh, another all-star uh, with a nice kill. I think Tia, I think uh, Tia Merrick's having a really good game so far. Yeah. It's early, of course. Well, she's, she's putting those low balls right there where they need to be. Yeah, right. The, the middle player from uh, from Eclipse couldn't have had no chance to get over because there was such a long back set. Backward attack. Great up in the back row by Albert Alabastro. Here comes another back row attack from Asia. Oh. She just missed it. <laughs> yeah, that was just a miss hit by yeah. Asia Gamia. Didn't co contact it cleanly. But you know, right now, uh, this Lee side team right now is being very aggressive and very physical at the net. I like the way they're playing. But they've put themselves in trouble with a questionable pass. Oh, Tia was in trouble there. That oh. was a tough set for Tia. <laughs> Number <laughs> eight, Alex Paletto yeah. played setter there, and uh, yeah. Tia's not very tall, and she left that ball inside yeah. by a good three meters, and it was over. It was your basic death set. Nice ball outside. Off the hands by, the, that was a really nice ball by number nine, Heather Zagerson. That's the one thing that I've seen a change in Lee size since the semifinal, Russ, is yeah. T, uh, Tia Mirick was leaving those balls a good meter, meter and a half inside for the hitters, and the hitters yeah. are having a lot of trouble uh, scoring against defensive. But here she's been pushing them all out to the t to the antenna, and it seems to be making a huge difference for the hitters. Oh, there's your there's Paletta right there. That was your basic stuff. Wow. 
But with Paulette in the middle, the, that, that, that freezes the middle for Eclipse, and so if you can set it outside, their outside hitters can really wail on the ball. Well, Jaden Kennedy, uh, she, she, may want, she may want to turn that line and stay away from Paletto. Yeah. Paletto puts up a pretty good block. Like I said, I really like the way she plays ball. Miss oh. serve again by Lee Side. We're looking at 11-10 score for Lee Side right now. Kelsey Veltman back to serve again. Nice short serve. There's a step around for Paletta. Boom. I think in that case, uh, uh, Jane Kennedy's got to get off the net. She's just standing in her right side position. That ball, because she, uh, uh, Paletta likes to cut that thing back sharply. Yeah, she cuts it back sharp, but even if she gets off, I don't think she'll have enough time to get yeah. in position. Uh, that, that, she's moving around pretty quickly there and uh, getting up pretty sharp. Lee side has opened up a 13-10 lead. This is the biggest lead of the game so far by for Lee side for either team actually. Nice defense in the back row, but couldn't get the ball up. Uh, Heather Zagertsen. So number 11. Abby Ganshorn, who is an all-star, turned that back nicely, and so we're seeing some very good volleyball right now. 11 serving 13 right now. Very good scrambling right now. Here's the step around, they're setting it outside to Alabasto. And Do you think that she got intimidated by the block? I think they're very well, I think right now Eclipse is very aware of the block yeah. that uh, Paletto's pulling, putting up, and they're trying what? to find hands there. Well, in that case, it was a, Paletta's back row, no, no, she's still there. Oh, wow, number two. This is, this is Jill Eisenhower blocking in the front row. She got there very quickly and did yeah. a great job of turning that back into the court, Russ. Yeah. Right now, well, we have a time timeout by Lee side. Um, so we'll be taking a break. Um, we'll be back in a minute. This live stream is brought to you by Volleyball Source, online at VolleyballSourceMag.com. Volleyball Source is your home for FIVB, CIS, and CCAA Volleyball. We have live streaming video of the world's best beach and indoor tournaments, live scores, teams lists, and more. If you click the Facebook link in the top left of the page, you'll be taken over to our Facebook page. Give us a like to stay connected with the volleyball community in Canada. All that and more over at VolleyballSourceMag.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 18U girls final for Division I Tier 1 at Rim Park. We have Lee Side leading 15 11 in game one. Tira Merrick, uh, the 70 year old from excellent setter from uh, Lee Side. That means Lee Side has three outstanding hitters in the front row. And you see what's happening, Paul, you're right. The Eclipse hitters are being intimidated by the block. They're trying to hit around the block, and it's, it's, it's difficult. I think right now the difference in the game is both teams have had their share of missed serves, both teams have had their share of shank passes. That, you know, but the difference right now to me is that uh, Lee side is winning, winning the net battle right now. Uh, they're attacking more aggressively, making less errors, and their block has been very imposing right now. Both number two, Jill Eisenhower, and number eight, Victor Victoria Alexandra, sorry, Paletta, are really making an impact on this game right now. Oh, this is trouble. This is very uncharacteristic for this Eclipse team. I was talking to Gabby yeah. Yopes, the coach of uh, Lee Side, about this Eclipse scene, and one thing she said is, what we were talking about, they're not as imposing at the net, but they yeah. don't beat themselves. And right now, they're making a lot of errors and hurting themselves. Uh, we've got a substitution for number uh, for Eclipse right now. Willow Zhu has just come into the game, and uh, I think Alabastro is, is out. That was a nice uh, overbump kill by by Willem, and so they're back to serve. It's 13-18. They've got to come back right now. They got to make some start making some points. 
There's a touch. De La Cruz, the uh, libero, tried to reach for it and he just got a piece of it. Like it's a very, they're being very efficient right now, Lee side, and mm -hmm. you know there goes a nice. It was not even a quick in the middle; it was a half quick, but they're leaving the one-on-one uh, -on -one down the middle. Good defense on the part of Eclipse outside. Here comes another free ball. We'll see what Lee Side does with it. Here comes the backcourt. That was an interesting play. They ran a back X yeah, there, Russ. They did. And there's that ball. That one dropped inside, which caused a lot of grief for yeah. the Lee Side hitter. But we have a ball handling error on Eclipse. And uh, point goes to. Lee side. Uh, Lee side, and they're up 20 to 12, wow. Russ. Yeah. And we have a timeout again being called by Eclipse as they try to pull together. We'll be back in a minute to continue the match. Hey guys, it's Cam. We're in Waterloo for 2014 Ontario Championships, and we're here with Ian Ebbett of Madawaska Volleyball Camp. Ian, how's it going? It's great, Cam. How you doing? Very well. Well, we just wanted to say we've been really excited to be here the last four weekends of Provincial Championships. What a great venue. Incredible to see our parents and families. We hope we see everyone this last two weeks at Madawaska. And uh, we just want to remind everyone that we do have a contest. Please go to our Facebook page, like us, and win a chance to have a chance to win a free week at camp. Awesome. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to the uh, 18U Girls Final. We have Lee Side open the commanding lead, 20 to 12. Uh, for me, Russ, right now, this is very simple. They're, they're, Lee Side's being far more physical. They're winning all the net, ba net battles. And uh, right now, Eclipse has, hasn't been able to do anything. There we go, they're going down the middle. This may be something they need to do and uh, to try to open up the game because the outsides are struggling for uh, Well, it's a simple Eclipse. game at this level, uh, at any level of volleyball. You pass the ball and you run your middle, especially when, you, when both teams have outstanding middles. And there's Ganshorn uh, with a big kill off of a wonderful pass. And number eight uh, going back to serve right now is Kristen Hilton into serve. That's what we talk about, Russ. That ball yeah. was left inside, and the yeah. and the hitter had a struggle. And there's and Veltman. Veltman, uh, when I was her this morning, was was really um, really had a good match. Uh, Eclipse has, has has an outstanding front court attack, but their passing has really let them down today. Yes. so far. Well, Mirak has been doing it for Lee side. The setter has been doing a great job of pushing it out, but the last two sets outside, she left inside, mm -hmm. and the hitters have not been able to get the same pop on the ball. Now there's the all-star, Asia Gamia. But again, we've got Cheryl Raymond Ramundo. The uh, libero makes a perfect pass. Both these setters, when they get the perfect pass, they can now run an offense. And, and we're seeing what happens. When the ball is there to the setter, we're seeing some great play. Oh, I think right now there's for an inside set there's again. that inside set, but the blocker yeah. on the outside never went up, yeah. and it went off. She's got to go up. I don't know why she didn't go up. That's 20, a good question. 22-14, number two, Jill Eisenhower serving for Lee side. That I means think right now, Russ, yeah. the thing is for Eclipse, they can't worry about the score. Right now it's a matter of let's figure things out. Let's get some momentum going into game two. If we happen to cr crawl back in game one, so be it. But let's get ourselves rolling here because right now they look like a very uh, confused team. Again, Veltman out of the middle, again from a perfect pass. And, and that's exactly what you're talking about, Paul. If they can end the game playing like this, they'll have something going in the second game. We have seen so many matches today where the team that won the first game had lost in the third. Exactly. Well, there's a long way to go in this match yet. Oh, there's a nice pass. Veltman, oh, oh, got away with one. Oh, yeah, she, got, she got away with one there. Yep, good hustle by Tia Merrick. Kennedy with a nice. Uh, she's been quiet today so far. Nice defense in the back row by. That was Hilton. Ball inside, off the block. 
You notice uh, Kennedy wasn't set and she was moving sideways when she tried to block that and got tooled. We have a 23-15 score right now for Lee side. Just to pull it, like I mentioned before, Paletto's going to CSU, Colorado State. We have some uh, Asia Gamaya going to Western, Jill Eisenhower to Mac. So we have a lot of players going to playing at the next level. Heather Sigurdsson going to Harvard. Yeah. And that's on the Lee side side. That's a 24-15. This is game point now as Asia Gamaya is serving. Oh, what a tough serve. Uh oh. Here comes a free ball. See what happens here. Oh, geez. Got, that's the first time today I've seen her be successful with that. So we have game one over, and Lee side wins the first game handily, 25 15. We'll be back shortly for game number two. This live stream is brought to you by Volleyball Source, online at volleyballsourcemag.com. Volleyball Source is your home for FIVB, CIS, and CCAA volleyball. We have live streaming video of the world's best beach and indoor tournaments, live scores, teams lists, and more. If you click this little YouTube play button here, you'll be taken to our YouTube channel. Subscribe here for even more how-tos, interviews, and our weekly live podcast. All that and more at VolleyballSourceMag.com. Welcome back to Rim Park and the 18U girls final for Division One Tier One. In Game One, we had Lee Side winning 25-15 to take a one-nothing lead. Russ, what do you what uh, what are you thinking there? Well, I'm thinking in terms of Eclipse. It's their first ball defense. They have two outstanding middles, and we saw at the end of the game they scored two kills in a row off of really good first passes from the serve. They're just not doing that right now. Whether Leeside, and I think you mentioned this earlier, Leeside is a better serving team. But Leeside serving, I think, has kept the clips off target. And the other system game, I think, gives the advantage to Leeside because of their outside hitting is the stronger, I think. Yeah, uh, that's for sure. And I thought, you know, uh, I know that Eclipse has some good outside hitters, yeah. but right now they're not scoring points for Eclipse. And they're going to have to turn that around. It's great to want to go down the middle and do the job down the middle, yeah. but you need a pass to do that. What happens when the pass isn't there? Well, that you're going to be forced outside. Yeah. And your outside hitters have to do something with that ball. And right now, I don't see it happening. You know, this is a championship team. This Eclipse team has won three of the four gold medals uh, uh, at the OVA tournaments this year. So yeah. it's not a team that's uh, not accustomed to winning. Well, you I know, think we, we want to take a look at number five, uh, Cadence Curry. But number one, um, Ala, uh, Christine Alabastro, when they were being set outside properly, they were, they were able to move the ball around, especially with sharp cuts. But they haven't been scoring because of the sets have been a little more erratic. And consequently, they're just not able to use the ball. When you're set inside, you lose that cut shot, don't you? That, uh, yeah, yeah, unless you're six foot four, six foot yeah. five, and you got yeah. some leverage on that ball, that inside set is a tough ball to hit for a, uh, for lack of a better term, a normal sized outside hitter. Yeah. Because that thing has to come down. You got to hit it sharp cross, and you have to bring it down fast. Um, a couple of the Eclipse players we have uh, Domingo, the setter, going to Humber, Jane Kennedy to San Diego, Kelsey Veltman to Western, Cadence Curry to York, and Abby Gazhorn to York. And we're getting ready for the start of game two. Russ, it's all yours. Well, right now, I think Eclipse, you break the game down into three sections, 8, 16, and 24. The, if you're, if you're uh, Coach Nathu of, uh, of Eclipse, you want to be leading at eight. Uh, that's that's a, a, an important uh, mark right now. So break the game down, make it more simpler. Let's just a game to eight right now. I think it's critical for Eclipse to get off to a good start yeah. here. Oh, a nice pound in the ball there, but, but good defense. Again, uh, Lisa is playing a solo all-round game. So there's what we talked about earlier, the ball set way inside. That ball was that, clearly out. That ball was inside, and, and she had very little at, to, uh, he, angles to hit. Yeah, Jane Kennedy hit it very sharp cross and out. I did not see a touch, but the referee. Oh, wow, a touch. Okay. Says there's a touch. Uh, okay, well, we had one of these earlier in the last game, too. It's 1 nothing. Kelsey Eclipse. Veltman serving for Eclipse. A nice bump set. It's in. I think that ball went right over the block, Russ. 
Yeah. Biden by uh, Majigorsky. Majigowski. Majigowski. She's I've been a sort of a hidden lethal weapon for uh, Lisa. She's had at least four kills in that first game, and we keep talking about how good their middles are. Well, she's done a good job, Bill. She has yeah. done a very good job of attacking. See, here, again, Eclipse not, not doing a good job on the first ball. Now they're in trouble. She, ha she has a very high contact point. De La Cruz with a nice dig in the back row by Eclipse. So, so setting outside to Kennedy. She hits it long, wide, out of bounds. She hit. You know, the thing about this Lee side team, Brad, yes, we do. We have, you and I have focused a lot on the middles. But right now, I can't think of one player that hasn't played well for Lee side. Yeah. They've had a great uh, production from all their players. In which then Paletta serves it long. Ah, Paletta <laughs> serves out of bounds on that one. <laughs> Paletta. Okay, 18, Jaden Kennedy, the outstanding right side player for Eclipse. Heading to San Diego. But that's into the net. Yep. Jaden Kennedy still serving. Jill Eisenhower just turned really fast. Oh, there's a tough serve. Wow. The rule here is we have a sport court laid down, and once your feet aren't on the sport court anymore and you play the ball, then it's a dead ball. So yeah. you have to try to keep your feet on that sports court. Nice pass for the libero Romundo. There's a step around, and they, every one of them are hitting the ball sharp cross court, and they're starting to pick it up. Well, Russ, we talked about Eclipse needed a good start. They're up 5-2 yeah. to two right now. They yeah. got the start they wanted. They're not overpowering the ball, but now they're starting to pick up some balls, and they're starting to do some good things. Well, it's, it's big for them for Christina Al Alabastro to be, uh, be playing. They took her out last game. This is something you don't want to do. Um, it's missing a serve. You got a chance to really set up a lead here. And uh, this is a, this is a, to me, it's, a, it's an important side out for, um, for Eclipse. Oh, this is trouble. Yeah. Oh, but we got Kennedy, and she rips oh, that ball. Oh, wow. Oh. The uh, linesman at the far end called that long. The referee overruled the linesman and called that ball in. It was awfully, awfully close. And, uh, yeah. you know, I think the linesman in that case might have made a good, or the, the official might have made a good call on that one, a good overrule. Well, now they're rolling it back the other way. No, oh, it's a uh, ball. Yeah, you can't. You know, probably the exact same ball, but they want their ball. No, Eclipse is trying to use their own ball. Yeah, That's just that it. ball. Yeah. That, that was the ball they brought specially for this case. Okay, Alabastro serving. She's had a really good well, start in the second game. This is interesting because Lee Side is complaining that the lines person called the ball out. Yeah. The referee overruled the lines person. Lee side questioned the overrule. Now the referee has brought both lines people in. And this is going to be interesting to see if there's an overrule of an overrule. <laughs> Ultimately, Russ, the referee has final say. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. If she thinks it's out, ball's out. Which is going to be interesting to me. This now is very interesting to me. She, she reversed the call again. This is very interesting to me, yeah. Russ, because if she saw it out and she has the right to overrule, why is she changing her mind now? I don't know. If she saw it out, then it's out. This is really an inter. If I was a reef, I'd be very upset by well, this. Well, he is. And I understand where he's coming from right now because he's no. saying, if you saw it out and called it out, then what changed your mind? Well, what, what upsets me is that we've got, um, these are OBA officials. And if you're the referee, you've got a job to do at the net and make sure you make the right calls with, in terms of ball handling and in terms of, of uh, t touches. Wow. Leave the end line to the, to the officials. These are, these are experienced guys. That's and very interesting to me. Yeah. Nice cut by off the net, top of the net. No touch, ball no. out of bounds. Yeah. Abby Ganzorn had the right idea, but she just hit the top of the net and the ball rebounded the wrong way. Number and three, Tia Merrick. They've served well. Uh, they've scored points when in her serve, as I recall. There's a step around. Net violation yeah. on number 16, Gabby Majigowski on that slide. Boy, those middle around. players, every one of them are really cutting it back sharply on that slide. Yes, they are.
The score is 6-5 right now for Eclipse. And we have a rally on our hands. I'd like to see the, the aggressiveness out of the system here. Good touches at the net. Outside. See the ball was set further outside. And a uh, nice cut around the block by Cadence Curry. See on that play, that, that ended up being a one-on-one -on -one attack outside. Yeah. The ball was set fast. But the middle's not even trying to get out right now. They're not even trying to cover an area. She just dropped off the net and got in the way of the four and five player on the left side of the court who are playing defense. Another net violation on Lee side wow, on a slide. They must have set a record already for net violations. I've been impressed so far by number seven, uh, Chanel Raimundo for um, for Lee side. She's been do she's doing a nice job of first ball passing. Eight five. Oh my! Boy, <laughs> Majagowski can really smack the ball. I thought she had a mile of line, Russ. So did I. <laughs> they all want to go cross court, but oh uh, my! But she got the point, so that makes the score 8-6 yeah, for we, Eclipse. Yeah. Like, she's a terminator. When, they, when she gets the ball, the rally's over, yep. one way or the other. <laughs> there she's serving again. Nice, tough serve. Boy, nice sharp cut by Curry. Great read by Alabaster on the back row. Medjagowski with another uh, strong back row hit. Perfect pass from Raimundo. And there's Asian Gimia. Wow. That's nice volleyball, especially from Lee Sites. Great passing by Raimundo. And uh, Asia, Asia Gimia is really having a good day. I think the, uh, you're right, Russ. The yeah. libero for uh, Lee Side, Raimundo, is doing a very good job. I, That's very slowly run. It's got to be faster, but ca faster than that. It's funny, you know, I think that if we notice the trend in this game now, Arif has sent his middles. He's going to his middles almost exclusively yeah. behind, and uh, they've had some success. But at that time, the block was waiting. Well, it was just set too high to make for a, a step around. But right there, that's, that's, that is not Eclipse right there. Um, uh, shanking, you know, it's one thing to make a bad first pass, but it's another thing just to totally give, give the, the point away. I agree with you. I agree with you. It's now 9-8 now for, uh, for Lisa. They've crawled back into this match. Yeah. Boy, they, I think that Curry's getting away. Well, both upside hitters for Eclipse are getting away with some balls that look like they should be blocked. Yeah, well, she, well, she did the smart thing, though, the yeah. rest. She yeah. uh, took a ball, went high hands, and when you go high hands, good things are going to happen. Yeah. If you try to bury that, you're going to get roofed. But she did a great job there. Curry has uh, done a nice job in this front row for, um, for Eclipse in this game here. Uh, at least three kills, possibly more, but she's done a really nice job. So it's now 10-9 for Eclipse. So Gertzen just hit one out of bounds long. Yeah. Looking for hands, I think, and took it high and just missed. <laughs> Funny, we were just talking about... Oh, uh, what a... There's Beltman with a wonderful uh, one-handed block. We were just talking about Raimundo and how she hasn't, and the last yeah. two passes she's made have yeah. been questionable passes and put her team in trouble. Oh, there's a tough serve. Great pass, though. Yeah. Number two, Jill Eisenhower with a great cutback into, into the corner. And there again, Raimundo, that ball was really moving. Oh, yeah. Serve from Abby Ganser, and it was really well done. So, number two, Jill Eisenhower serving for Lee Side at 10 uh, 11. Del Cruz with a nice pass. That was Curry again with a wipe off. Curry is, uh, what, she's giving her team energy right yeah. now, Russ. Yeah, she sure is. She's uh, be, being an energy giver, and her team is uh, starting to feed off her. You watch her when she uh, scores a point. She's coming down and engaging her team.
Fishes again with a nice ball. Oh, that's trouble. Yep, that ball's in trouble. We have number 12, Asia, Asia Gamaya going back to serve. So that means that Tia Merrick, the, the seventh year old, but you wonder if she, if they'll go outside on her. No, I guess not. There's wow. another net violation How many again. Are they going to have? That's the third or fourth net violation on Lee's side, on that side, yep. the left side, in this game. So it's 13 11 as Curry serving from the back row. Nice tough serve. And Veltman in the front row for Eclipse. Bears I would not up. be surprised if Gabby took a timeout soon because right now they're out of sync. Things are not going their way, and they don't look like the first, the same team that played the first game. Well, they're definitely serving away from Ramondo, that's for sure. She hasn't touched the ball for a while. Oh, a good dig in the back row by Ramondo. Curry, oh, kind of tough to hit that ball straight with a Paletta there. Yeah, Paletta went and got that one. She got her. Yeah. Paletta's been doing a great job of blocking. He's been very quiet offensively, though. Yeah. I think. I think. But she'd been doing a good job with the block. Well, Lee side, there's some cracks starting to show uh, for Lee side right now as, as the momentum sh changing slowly. We have a 15-12 score in yeah. favor of Eclipse. Eclipse was first to eight, and now if they get first to 16, they've won these mini games. But that last, the last nine points are going to be decisive. Oh, what a cut. Oh, wow. That was a fabulous Magia cut. Majagowski. By Majagowski. Uh, I think there's the odd, odd scout here that's going to be noticing her. Well, I think so. She's yeah. only a 17U. Right. She's coming back for another year, so. Yeah. I think she's probably already on a lot of people's radar right now, Russ. They need some points out of Kennedy, that's for sure. Yes, they do. Kennedy needs to score points. And she's hitting the ball well. They're just yeah. digging her. Ball to the middle. Oh, oh nice rundown. Oh, too oh, bad. Oh, too bad. Number six, Kiana De La Cruz. Kind of read that, but just one step slow. She came a long way to get that ball. Yeah. All right, they've cut into this lead. It's 14-15. Oh, that was a tough serve. So again, there's a hit, another system ball. That's two key. That's in. Wow. That is in. That just caught the corner. Maybe that'll get uh, Alabas Alabastro. Alabastro going well, she's now. She's had a, a good, strong second uh, uh, second game, that's for sure. Both, both power hitters for Eclipse are much better this game. That's an inside ball. There's Maciagowski. Tried to find the seam, but took it too deep and yeah. out of bounds. Okay, 18, Jaden Kennedy serving for Eclipse, 17-14. It's a step around and they set it outside. Oh, she had a one and one hit. Number two, Jill Eisenhower went around the back and boy, Medjia Gauss. Well, she went around it. the back, Russ, and yeah. the middle blocker followed her. That's what I mean. It was a and one and one hit, wow. I think she was guessing on that one. Well, she tried to do something with her, but it looked to me as if that ball was awfully tight. Yeah, I think so. She couldn't swing at that ball, Russ. Yeah. It was too tight to be swung at. Okay, we got 16-17, number three, serving for Lee Side. Tia Merrick. Wow. Lee Side now has kept climbing back to within a point. Uh -huh. For, you know, every time they've gone back to serve, they come back to a point, and then they... They have not been able to climb the hump and take the lead. It'd be interesting to see if they can and what happens when they do. And that brings Curry to the front row, and she said, oh, Gaia, uh, Aja, I'm sorry, wasn't quite sure whether to take that ball or not. Yep, she hesitated, and it cost her. Gabby Yopes, coach of uh, Leeside, calling a timeout. At 19-16, Eclipse will be back in a minute with the conclusion of game number two. Welcome to the 2014 Ontario Championships from Waterloo. We're here with Mark Heese of Canuck Stuff and Overkill. Mark, how's this weekend and OCs going? It's great. Our new relationship with the Ontario Volleyball Association is going well. We've got the OVA merchandise. We've got Canuck Stuff. 
Overkill Merchandise, Mizuno, Mikasa, trying to make all these uh, young athletes happy. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Rim Park and the 18U girls final. Uh, first game was won by Side, 25-15, and now we're in game two, and Eclipse has a 19-16 lead, and it's been uh, a lot closer game now, Russ, than it was in game one. I think look out for this Eclipse team. Uh, we're going to start hearing a lot more from number 18, Jane Kennedy. She's, a, she's one of the top players, and she's been kind of quiet so far, and yet they're, they're in this match. There's number 60, Majagowski. She's really come on strongly in this last part of the game. Offensively, yeah. she's been doing uh, yeoman's work for yeah. uh, for Lee's side, but she's just rotated into the back and is now serving, so see what happens now. The step around, off the block, number nine. Oh, there's right into the block, and the, that ball's so far inside. Yeah, the, the hitter didn't have a chance there, Russ. That ball was left so far inside. Well, it's called a trap set. She's yeah. trapped the hitter. And the yeah. hitter, there's not much you're going to do with that. We're within a point now. Lee Side's within a point. Nice pass. You wouldn't call that a quick. That's kind of a, like a slow quick. Yeah, it's, it's, not a, it's not a completely commit quick. No. But it's tough, to, it's tough to run that kind of an offense against the, 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 the tall blockers that Lisa has in the middle. Yes, well Arif Nathu has called his timeout and uh, we'll be back in a minute at 1919. This live stream is brought to you by Volleyball Source, online at volleyballsourcemag.com. Volleyball Source is your home for FIVB, CIS, and CCAA Volleyball. We have live streaming video of the world's best beach and indoor tournaments, live scores, teams lists, and more. If you click this little YouTube play button here, you'll be taken to our YouTube channel. Subscribe here for even more how-tos, interviews, and our weekly live podcast. All that and more at VolleyballSourceMag.com. We're back, and uh, we're in game two of the 18U girls final. Last time we had a break, it was 1916 for Eclipse, and it's now 1919 as we're going down to the end of this game two. And a massive communication error there by the Eclipse team. Well, you notice that um, Arithas changed the setters. Number two is now setting um, Elizabeth White. Um, Carlino Domingo is not in the game right now. She was the number one setter. Uh-oh, this is trouble. Okay, that was a point down the middle by number... Uh, 11, Abby Ganshorn. She'll be heading to York. We have a 2020 game. And number eight coming in. Kristen Hilton, number eight. She came in last, last game to serve, but she also stayed around in the front row as well, which is interesting. She's in for Alabastro, I think. Oh, off the top of the net. Nice dig in the back row by Jaden Kennedy. Free ball Hopefully going over, Russ. Rondo. Here's a step around. That was awkward. Uh, that was an X. I think Arif has a point there. He wants a double contact on number 12 yeah. that he didn't get. And nice that, was, number that was a very, very poorly executed X, front X by, uh, by Lee side. side, and they got away with that one. Well, also number 12 is left-handed. It's tough to run an X with a left-hander oh, uh, coming around. Well, she put it right on top of the yeah, middle and there was yeah. nowhere to go. To go. So 21-20 now for Side. Eclipse has got to start doing something here. Oh, wow. Christine Alabastro. I don't understand. I, I didn't notice him taking out the, uh, the setter. I didn't Car either, Carlino Russ. Carlino Domingo. And it, it's just clearly that they're not running a smoothie. Okay, yeah, I, it's true. They're, they're having, right now they're having some communication issues. Their sets aren't getting where they're, but also the passing is not what it should be. Yeah. Um, we have to understand that this Eclipse team is a team that gets by on great ball handling, you know, and I don't right now at this point, you know, it's 22-20 Lee side, but right now I don't think Eclipse is having its best match. By no means are they. And I think Lee side has 
give them given them an opening early, but the errors since it was 1916 have just mounted. They've been outscored 6-1 since, yeah. since that point. And most of them have been errors, Russ. Jill Eisenhower serving now for Lisa, and they got a chance to really stomp them with this point. This is a critical point right now. Oh, critical a point. Bump. Nice ball outside, off the hands. Good dig in the back row by Alabastro. Oh, off the hands. They keep swinging. There's Curry again. Yes. She keeps swinging. And I, I, I just said that was a critical point. Yeah. We're talking a difference between 23-20 and 22-21. It's 22-21 now, Lee side. And uh, Eclipse is still breathing, and they're still right in this thing. Oh, nice try by number eight. That was Kristen Hilt that came in. She read that, but she just wasn't able to get the ball up. So now it's 23-21. Number 12, Asia uh, Gamaya back to serve. Huge side out here. Oh, no. And ball just misses. Yeah, just floated long. And it's 23-22 now for Lee's side. So Curry's back to serve. If they never needed Alabastro to have a great one here, that was the time. There were no blockers up at all for that. But it's good to see Lisa swinging. I mean, uh, at match, you know, the, the matches are basically on the line right now, and they're swinging away from the back row. A lot of teams would be just putting up a free ball there. We have a sub coming in now yeah. for Lee side. We have Zoe McIntosh coming in to serve for Heather Sigurdsson. And it's 24-22. We're looking at match point right now for Lee side. First ball contact's just critical right now. Nice serve and not a great pass. Here we go. Oh, nice what swing by Kennedy. Rep. Great defense. That's out. And Paletto puts it down. And Lee side takes the championship. So the 18U girls Division I Tier 1 championship goes to Lee side, defeating Eclipse in two games. 25-15, 25-22. Um, thank you very much and good day from Rim Park.